Why don't you start by telling us your name and how long you've lived in Berkeley County for? I'm Norman Brunswick, and I've lived in uh, Berkeley County since 1975. What's your background? Well, I'm a wildlife biologist. Uh, I spent 41 years uh, working at the Francis Beidler Forest uh, in Berkeley and Dorchester County, uh, which is a big swamp forest, and I managed the place and uh, worked hard to make it bigger and safer and be sustainable through time. When thinking about the Cooper River Corridor, what is most significant about this place in your perspective? It's hard, it's just hard to answer a question about what is most significant. It's significant in every way I can think of. It's historically and culturally and environmentally and biologically uh, at the top of the pile. I mean, it is just such a spectacular place. Uh, it almost defies definition. What is it that you're standing in front of? What's, what's behind you? I'm standing in front of a historical rice field that uh, has been in its present configuration for a couple of hundred years. And it was part of 70,000 acres of rice fields that were dug by slaves and farmed and raised the most valuable rice maybe it was ever grown. What did that do to our region and our culture? What, 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 what did rice fields do to this place, for this place? Well, it didn't do much for the slaves who were growing it. For, for the people who owned the land and grew the rice, it created some of the most vast fortunes in uh, the United States. It's shocking to some people, but 200 years ago, maybe the richest people in the uh, country were living on the Cooper River. How do rice fields contribute to the ecology of this place? What, what do they provide for the natural environment? Well, the rice fields are now some of the best bird and fish habitat in this part of the world. You know, they were once a bottom on hardwood forest, but once they were impounded, they became a permanent or semi-permanent body of water, and they are spectacular uh, bird and fish habitats. And I mean, I look out here and see birds that are fairly uncommon by the dozens on a good day. With the amount of growth that's happening in the Berkeley County region, what threat does that have on the Cooper River Corridor? Well, I mean, you know, the whole, the whole suite of impacts from large-scale development will be, in, it will be you know, impacting on the corridor. I mean, the runoff from lots and lots of removal of soil and, uh, you know, rearranging of soil uh, you know, the noise that will be accompanying the construction and development, and then just thousands and thousands of people, you know, the pets that they have that we all want, you know, will be doing what pets do. The cats will be eating songbirds, and the dogs will be leaving little presents all over the place that will create runoff down into the river. It's, it, you know, it's just all those things rolled up together. Thinking about the future uh, of Berkeley County and particularly the Cooper River Corridor, what would you like to see the, the leadership and the community do for this place for future generations? I would like local government and the people who live here to sign up for the wonderful goal of maintaining the hometown of Monk's Corner. It's real easy to say that, but it takes real strength and will and determination to do it. Nonprofits and governments have protected lots of land, but there's some land that can't be protected that way and some values that can't be protected that way. In this particular case, it's the time for the town of Monk's Corner to step up and say what's being proposed is not appropriate for here, and we're simply not going to annex Jippy, and we're not going to let 1,200 houses be built on this precious, fragile site, chock-a-block up against the Cooper River. If someone was visiting Berkeley County for the first time and didn't have any idea what they would be seeing when they come here, is there something that you would say to that person to describe what, what this place is and, and what, it, what it means to the people who live here? 
I think I would say uh, that it's a combination of the most remarkable historical and cultural and natural and architectural resources of any place I've ever been. That's great. Thanks. My pleasure. <laughs>